Hello there, it's James. I've got a special video for you today. I don't usually do videos like this, but I happen to have had gotten the new... Uh, it's not that new. It's got to be at least from June. Um, Live Gamer Portable from Media. Now, I'm not saying you should go out and buy one. I have no idea how good it works, but from the videos I saw online, uh, it, looked, it, looked, it looked great, and it has portability. But I've decided to do an unboxing video, which I've never done on my personal channel. Um, I've done it a couple times for systems on GameFront.com, but I wanted to give it a shot, and, and since I paid for it, I figure, well, if I'm going to do an unboxing video, I should put it on my own channel. So, first things first, it comes in a box, just like such. There's four sides to this box, as you would expect. Uh-huh. And inside is the product that I purchased. Let's get uh, this mouse out of the way. Well, I guess you can see my GoPro. So this is, wow, this is the Avermedia Live Gamer, uh, what is it called? Live Gamer Portable. It's, uh, let's see here. It's about the same size as my cell phone. Where is my cell phone? Here. Let me compare it to something, uh, this is my... Wow, my cell phone is bigger than this thing. So let's take a look at the different ports that it has. Um, let's see. There we go. So as you can see, there is a... This is the... Whoa, it's backwards. This is the PC audio in and out, so that you can plug your PC in through this HDMI in port. I might be actually going backwards, but one of these is in and one's out. But that way you don't have to have the audio going through the HDMI. So PC in, PC out, uh, HDMI in. And then they have this little special thing here. And that's a proprietary um, cable that, that damn well better be in my box. But that will allow you to uh, hook up the PlayStation 3 or... Yeah, not just the PlayStation 3 or any old console that does not have HDMI. And this is fun. We get to peel off this thing. Oh, gosh. Peeling stuff makes you feel like you're really... It's like it's Christmas morning um, or birthday morning if you don't celebrate Christmas. This is where you put a flash card. You need a Class 10 uh, flash card. Uh, I think it's an SD flash card in order to use it. Um because it needs a high read-write speed. And apparently when you're doing it with uh, a flash card, you don't quite get the same resolution or whatnots as you do when you use the computer, but uh, at the same time, it becomes portable. And that's got its own advantages. And on this side, you have the, um, you have the USB to the computer, or if you're not actually using the computer, that's where you would power it, because there's no actual power cable for this. It just is USB powered. On the front, we have the option here of going from uh, from the PC on this side, or you can slip it over to the other side, and that's how you make it portable. Now we get to have this moment. This is like my favorite part of something. Some people will leave their, um, their little plastic things on for a long time, and I understand that, but it's just so fun to peel away. Oh, listen to that. That's great. That is great. Now here's the button that is, I haven't tried it, but from what I've been told, it's a one-click process. You just click it once and it starts to do magical work. So this is the this is the bread and butter or the meats and, not the bread and butter, This I would say this is the meat of the meal right here. It's got all this stuff. Let me give another look at it. All right. I realize that while I'm doing this, I'm actually not very good at keeping myself from blocking the camera. Everything's elbows and shoulders. So we're going to take this off. This plastic case is nice and hard. It might might serve for a good way to transport my portable gaming recorder. And inside there is an X-Split gift certificate that would give me, when I open it, will give me a code to have three months of X-Split free. Um, I've already got a couple years X-Split. I bought it when it was on sale. So maybe I'll give it away, or maybe maybe I'll give it to a friend. I don't know. You can beg for it, and I might give it to you, but no promises. No promises. Um, and here, oh, here we go. Gamer Zone. You can find the Rec Center and, uh, oh, it's Record Central and User Manual online. Great. Uh, saving paper. Oh, I guess there's also a manual right here. Let's see what's inside. Oh, a bunch of words. 
just as I had suspected. Now to see what kinds of cables they have in here. So, open up and let us see. This, oh, let's open it up. Okay, this is what I was talking about before. Actually, it makes it a lot better than other devices um, that I've had in the past that have the component ability. What you have here is, uh, this is that PlayStation cable that goes to the back of a PlayStation 3. I think it even goes to a PlayStation 2, and there's a small chance it's to PlayStation 1. I, I doubt it. But definitely PlayStation 3. You plug this into the back, and then it goes in through that proprietary thing. Which is better than having to have this adapter that a lot of things have that just have mangled cords where you put the green, red, and, and blue things in. So this should be a lot cleaner and simpler if I was going to use component cables. But I happen to have a, I have a device. Don't tell anybody, but it's an HDCP stripper. Um, I got it off of the internet, and it does pretty good. Uh, I don't do anything illegal with it. I'm not Blu-ray slinging or anything. But it makes it so I can do my day job, which I usually have permission from the pro uh, producer or developers of the games anyways. So I'm not breaking the laws. I just happen to have a device that I, I don't even know if it's illegal to have. Probably just illegal to use in the wrong way. I, I barely even need to open this little plastic baggie. Ugh. Because this is, I mean, we've all seen this. It's USB to um, mini USB? It's not, I think micro's the little tiny one. Um, I don't know really the difference between them, if there's a difference of speed and things like that. But I, I think bigger is better when you're dealing with electronics. No, that's not true. What kind of a liar am I? I just feel like I'm not going to break this one as easily. All right, so let's move on to what's next in here. All right, we have, oh, well, how kind of them. They've given me a baby cord. What does it go to? It's an HDMI cord. It's definitely an HDMI cord, but this is barely as long as my wrist to middle finger's tip, which is almost a middle finger shirt. No, I'm just complaining now. This isn't too small. What I would do is probably keep this right next to my PC and use this for PC. Or maybe it's just to make it easier for travel. Maybe I'm wrong. I shouldn't be uh, so quick to be negative. I might be appreciating how small that cord is in the future. Well, these guys really have it set up. These, this, is a, this is an audio cable that we can use for that PC thing. If you can notice, that's a, I think it's an eighth inch jack. Yeah. Nathan's Jack Stereo. These things in itself cost at least $2.99. Or let's be honest, at least $1.99 at Radio Shack or whatever. But now I got one for free. Just cutting down the costs of, you know, the entire project. Oh, here's that ugly son of a gun cord that I was talking about earlier. Let me open it up. This is for any old consoles, and I bet you could even use it for, like, a, an old... Um, like DVD player or something. If you, I mean, I'm not using it for that. But this is the cable I was talking about. You can take component and plug all these different wires and messy cables in and then put it through their proprietary thing here. I'll bring it back up. That's that cable. These are all the different things. I don't want that behind my stuff while I'm working. It's just going to make a rat's nest out of my cables. So, oh my gosh. Well, I don't know. I believe this is the tiniest pillow I have ever seen. I mean, that's ridiculous. Nobody's going to be able to sleep on that pillow. Oh, it's got a zipper. Uh-oh. I know exactly what this is. Oh, my gosh. It's a little tasty treat inside. I'm going to have to eat that. Uh, oh, gosh. Thank goodness for the label. It says, throw away, do not eat. But it doesn't give me any other warnings. It doesn't say, do not crush and snort, which, don't do it. It's silica. But I can think of a thousand things I just shouldn't do with this. Throw it away. I'm probably going to get in trouble for littering uh, in my apartment later by my, by my big boss. Let's see if this really does uh, fit in here. Well, let's do it on this camera. This is where it's at. Oh, oh yeah. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, good. Um, 
in case that looked like it was difficult, it actually slipped right in. All right, well, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you are interested in getting one of these, that's what you'll get when you pay your whatever amount. I got a good deal on, I hate advertising for stuff, but on Newegg, I mean, 30 bucks off of the man whatever price you usually pay. So I think that sale's probably going to go on for a while. Um, but <laughs> you might want to wait a few days. I'd say by next week, if it's not good, you'll hear me bitching about it. Um, and... And uh, maybe I'll just do a reference video of, like, these are some videos between the two different kinds. But thank you for watching and joining me today.